What's up guys? It's Elisa. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Last time you guys saw me was for my baby shower vlog and that was definitely a beautiful time and everything but it is now... what's the date? July 5th and guys I officially gave birth. I gave birth a week ago. My son is officially a week old. He was born on June 28th at 12.43 a.m. And oh my gosh, this week has already been so much of an adventure. We've just been bonding, getting to know each other, and maybe taking a couple naps in between. Not much sleep for either of us because he has to eat every two hours and we're getting the hang of like the breastfeeding, pumping routine, just everything. And oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with him. He's sleeping over there and He's such a good baby, guys. Like, he only cries when he's hungry or maybe when his diaper's wet. And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like he communicates with me. Like, he'll suck, like, make a sucking notion when he's hungry. He'll, like, look all irritated when his diaper. And we're just getting on the same wavelength. I love him so much. His name is Elijah. And, yeah, and I could already, I already know this love is going to continue to grow and grow because I'm like, oh my gosh, I just met you. They just put you on my stomach and I already fell in love. So the more I get to know him, I know it's just going to be. This is just an intense, it's been intense, guys. Intense emotions, heightened everything. But anyway, I know this is a crazy video to like come back in with. Maybe it's not. But the reason I want to make this video, I'm probably going to title it like how to pee postpartum, how to pee after birth, because that is the biggest thing that I struggled with in like in my recovery so far, a week in. And I've done a lot of research. I've tried every little thing when I'm peeing. And I'm talking about that burning thing when you pee. Like for me, I didn't get any stitches. I had a vaginal birth. I didn't get any stitches but I had like a small little tear down there I guess and she told me stitches would just make it worse so just to recover on my own and you know I agree with that but it just hurts so bad when you pee like I went I knew from that first time they wheeled me up to my recovery room after birth and I had that first pee I'm like oh my gosh this can't be real like this hurts so bad and it's just a very I'd rather go through the birth again than to pee after birth <clears throat> excuse me yeah, I'd rather go through the birth again than to pee after birth because of how bad it hurt. Like, just imagine a cut, like a slice down there and the urine is getting in there. And of course, you know, they, t they say to use peri bottles and they give you things to like ease it. But honestly, the peri bottle, I'd always fill it with warm water and just like squirt it down there when I'm peeing. And it would still burn really bad for me. I would get a warm rag just to soothe the pain. But every time I trickled out pee, it would still hurt. So I did, you know, I tried everything that they say to try and none of that was really, you know, of course a little pain is manageable, but this pain was like burning me so bad. So there was one night and honestly, like I'd be scared to use the bathroom guys. Like I kind of slowed down on my water intake because I'm just like, no, like I dreaded peeing so bad and it was just a mess. So every time I would go pee, it would just be this whole routine. I'd literally either set up a bath just to like try to pee very slowly literally a bath every time I pee or just fill the sink sanitize it and fill it with really warm water and just put the cloth as I trickle out pee because it was hurting so bad it came to the point where I was like on the verge of tears every time I was going to pee and I was just like no I can't do this so I did some research on ways to like ease the pain or whatever and oh my gosh guys I came across this article and it's pretty much how to pee after birth something like that I'm gonna link it down below and we are gonna get all into this article because this article saved my life I tell it like what I tell you I have read this article and she basically gives you a position on how to pee and basically you're kind of like I'll show you guys the position but when you pee in this position, the pee is just going straight down into the toilet. It's not touching anything. It's not falling down. So you have to kind of get into a weird setup on the toilet. But when I tell you I use this position to pee the first time, and I wanted to, like, cry tears of joy because I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I didn't feel pain when I peed, and it was amazing. So I know that sounds dramatic, but you guys know, like, if you dealt with any of the cuts, the tears, the everything, and peeing, and it's just a whole ordeal. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the article, the part that explains the position. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys this little box setup that I assembled, which I've seen other places, but I definitely recommend you guys do something like this. So this is what it looks like. 
and it just is basically going to have all your essentials for when you go to the bathroom um, postpartum. So I definitely recommend if you have two bathrooms, make two of these, keep them in both bathrooms so you're not like running around. Like for me, I do have two bathrooms and I would have to like have family members like, okay, bring me my box. I'd have to like go run and get it, which, you know, so just make two of them so it's more convenient for you. And yeah, let's get into this article so I can tell you guys all about it because it's life changing. Okay, so the article that I found linked below, go ahead and check it out, but I'm going to read you guys the part that's life-changing. How to pee postpartum without crying. And when I read the title, I'm like, oh my gosh, like this resonates with me so deeply because I'm crying every time I go to the bathroom because it hurts so bad. So, here is the money, here's the gold. This is what you guys got to do. Sit a little further back on the toilet, like pretty much all the way back. I mean, that's what I do. And then it says, and lean all the way forward. And I'm not just talking about lean forward. Lean all the way forward. She puts, I seriously rested my forearms on the ground. But if you aren't that acrobatic, a low stool placed in front of you might be helpful. So guys, come on. I know you got this unless you went through um, C-section or any of that, which you probably won't be feeling the burning down there because you had a C-section. Like, you know, you can stretch those muscles and just get down. Literally, get all the way back to the toilet seat and bring your body all the way down to the point where your forearms are touching the ground. And like she said, okay, so basically, so your bum is up in the air and pee is falling forward and down instead of running all over your body. So guys, that, that's what happened. That's what I read that saved my life to go pee. And that's all you have to do. You're just sitting back on the toilet and you're bringing your body all the way forward pretty much like she said imagine your butt up in the air your forearms on the ground and you're gonna pee that way so like she said the pee is not going down it's not hitting that cut that slice that tender skin down there that does not need pee on it as it's healing and the water is just or the pee is just going straight down into the toilet and it's a weird kind of sensation when you're peeing because like normally you're used to feeling the pee but with this method you feel yourself peeing but you don't feel the pee at all it's just going you just hear it going straight to the toilet so that is what you guys need to do seriously it was life changing if you have cuts down there if you have tears down there pee that way and it really helps so one thing I found like just you want to find the right position because there was times where I was like kind of leaned maybe too forward or maybe my butt was too high or something I don't know but I would like pee on my stomach a little bit and I had to like find the right position to just get it straight down which was fine because as long as I wasn't peeing on my cuts and hurting myself I was fine so definitely give that a try guys it was very helpful I was so excited once I found this article and that's why I wanted to make this my first video back because I'm like, oh my gosh, if I could just help anybody with this method who's struggling like I was, then that is enough for me to make this video life-changing. So that is how you guys need to pee when you are postpartum with tears or cuts, burns, scraps, whatever down there. So I'm going to leave that article down below. I'm probably going to put a little pasty somewhere so you guys could read it again. And we're going to just read it one more time. Sit a little further back on the toilet and lean all the way forward. I seriously rested my forearms on the ground, but if you aren't that acrobatic, a low stool placed in front of you might be helpful. So your bum is up in the air and pee is falling forward and down instead of running over your body. So finally, once I, so there's that article linked below. Once I was able to like be comfortable with peeing, I didn't have that like anxiety and nervousness to go use the bathroom. And along came my first like actual poop after postpartum, um, after birth I mean. And I think the reason I wasn't able to go in the beginning was because I was so tense every time I went to the bathroom because I was nervous for the pain. But once I found this method, I was more relaxed and then I was eventually able to poop and have that first poop postpart or after birth, which was great too. So this helped me in both ways. Definitely check that article out. Definitely try this method out if you are desperate because I know how you feel. I understand the pain. So next we're going to get into this little box that I assembled. Um... You, you know, you want to bring it with you every time you go to the bathroom if you need it, depending on how you're recovering and stuff. But we're going to go through everything in here real quick just so I can give you guys a little tour of this stuff. So, like I said, this is what it looks like. You could just use any bin, literally a shoebox too, if that's what you have. And, of course, you're going to start with the Perry bottle. This is the, I think, the brand, the Frida brand. Or, no, what is this one? Oh. Lansino, Lansino brand, and this is, I bought the postpartum recovery, is that what it is? 
yeah okay yeah so I bought the postpartum recovery little um it's like a it comes with all the essentials it comes with some ice packs for down there it comes with this peri bottle and then it comes with um this herbal spray that's also in here so this is an herbal postpartum cooling relief made with a safe blend of herbal ingredients so this is nice and cool to put down there maybe after you're nice and you're done peeing you dry it off and you're about to like put on your pad and everything go ahead and spray some of this down there and it feels really good so peri bottle is what I used at the beginning before I found this method and it, it did help a little bit just make sure you're using warm water that's what made me feel better and literally whatever your preference is and basically what the idea is you know it's like a spray thing and you're spraying it down there as you pee to like dilute the water so it doesn't dilute the pee so it doesn't burn as bad so stopped using the peri bottle pretty much just because method found the method herbal spray is very nice and refreshing um what else do we have in here so these are like the postpartum underwear as well which are really comfortable um i bought my own these are like little black ones and they just look like shorts and then the other ones i bought are like this these are the ones that they had at the hospital so they're gonna have a bunch of these at the hospital already i went through all the ones at the hospital and then i was able to just fall back on my own packs when i got home so very comfortable Again, they also have these nice big pads at the hospital, and the bleeding is going to get better and better, less and less. If it's getting worse, you're noticing clots, doing things like that, then, you know, you want to contact your provider, your OB and everything just to get that straightened out. Because the, the blood should be getting less and less, which it does. So I use the big pads at the hospital, and then by the time that I got home, I was able to just fall back on these pads. Oh, somebody's awake. Hold on, guys. Hi. Hello, honey. My honey bunny. Baby, guys. He looks like a little doll. He's so small. Sometimes he wakes up and he's just like, Mom, I'm awake. Nothing's wrong. I just want you to hold me. I want you to hold me. Oh, I know. So precious. Oh my gosh. And then you see, I have this postpartum box. I have tears, stretch marks, everything. But it's all worth it. You see the precious face? And it's so worth it. It's so funny, guys. Newborn stage is so funny because they're just like, what's going on? And you just wonder, like, what they think of you. Like, you know, you, you, I'm definitely so blurry to him because their vision is weird at the beginning. And just a lot of funny times. We don't like to sleep much either, huh? But he does. He likes to take his naps. But if he wakes up, he just wants to be cuddled or fed or talked to. And he just fell asleep again. So precious. So precious. Okay, where did I leave off? So we were talking about the underwear. Yes, those are great. Pads. You're able to switch. Milo, go. You're able to switch to some normal pads once you're probably home. If you still need those big pads, definitely ask for more. They are really, usually the nurses are really nice. They'll hook you up and give you everything. Another thing that I was given while I was at the hospital, which are amazing, are these witch hazel pads. And, oh my gosh, guys. Pretty much done with these. Um, but they look like this. Nice and cool. And you just put those down on your pad after you're done using the bathroom and everything. And it's so cool. It feels so good. Definitely recommend. Witch hazel's great. I've been using padsicles, too. If you guys don't know what those are. Look it up or I'll just tell you. It's basically where you open your pad. You put aloe vera and witch hazel. Put them in the freezer for postpartum. You can just put those down there for a nice cooling relief. And they don't really leak too much either because the pads are super absorbent. But back to these. These are great. You just put a couple of these down your pad. Lift up your underwear and it just feels nice and cool and relaxed. Another thing I have down here is some Vaseline and A&D ointment. So I don't really know 
if they're I didn't use the and the Vaseline much but the Andy ointment I put it down there on my tear and my cuts I don't know if that's good or not maybe I should just let it breathe but it was soothing and it felt good to me so definitely just beware I mean I'm not no medical professional but this did help me feel kind of good on the minor cuts and burns down there so another thing that I have, which you guys have probably seen in a lot of videos, is the Dermoplast, which is a relief, a pain relief for pain, burn, and itch for minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. So provides fast relief, cools and comforts, and then soothing aloe. And it's a little spray that you put down there. So a lot of women will either put this on before they, um, oh, I know, I know. Oh my goodness. So a lot of women will either put this on before they go pee to kind of numb the area because that's what it does. And then honestly putting it after for that. Oh, I know. What happened? Putting it on after. <laughs> He's funny. Putting it on after you guys pee is really good too. It just feels really nice and relieving. Um, What else do I have in here? I have a nice clean rag if I ever need it obviously switch them out often but just with warm water sometimes it's just like very soothing cold is soothing and warm is soothing down there um and also just letting your vagina breathe definitely do that and no need for any fancy soaps fancy anything soap simple soap normal soap and water or just water because you know it's a fragile area down there you got to let your body heal the right way give it time and I've been patient with myself and it feels good now like things are slowly starting to get better I see my little cut starting to heal my tear that I had down there from his little head and he literally popped right out guys my birth like he popped right out when it was time to push he helped me out like the ladies were hyping me up they're like this usually does not happen they're like especially because it's your first they're like oh my gosh like you are really good at pushing you're about to have this baby because before once the, before the pushing part of the birth they're like okay this could take maybe it could be quick but it could take up to three hours so just prepare yourself and I'm like oh, okay so I start pushing and then that from that first push she's like oh my gosh you're gonna have this baby quick like this usually does not happen you're amazing at this let's go it hyped me up and then within a couple more pushes he was already out <laughs> and it was so crazy but I give him credit as well because he was only five pounds six ounces and you know he's a little guy so when he was born it helped with just getting him out of my pelvis area you helped mom out huh you helped me out I thought he was going to be a lot bigger, but honestly, it makes sense. I only gained about 35 pounds during my pregnancy, and then, you know, obviously, 5 pounds with him, placenta, the water, and then just extra weight that you gain. So, I'm sure if I would have gained more in the 50s, I would have thought, oh, shit, like, he's going to be big baby, but he's nice and little, like his mama was. I think I was around 6 pounds, so, yeah. What else do I have down here? Guys, prim primrose oil. So I don't know if I could credit me not tearing completely or having to get any stitches to this, but I did uh, perennial massages. And if you guys don't know what that is, that's basically where you use any type of oil. I use the primrose oil because it's also known to help soften your cervix, I guess. And you basically get into your vagina and you're like stretching the skin um, before birth to like help with like getting that skin more elastic and not and to prevent tearing. And I did do that. I started doing it around 35 weeks. And if you guys don't know how to do a perennial massage, look it up. There's um, a lot of YouTube videos on it. And there's a lot of like articles on it that explain exactly what to do with your fingers. If you guys want me to make a video on it, I can. But all the information is definitely out there. So definitely recommend that. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys these. But this came with the Lanzano little postpartum thing. And they also come with like little pads that you can slip right through so you don't get anything dirty. And you just put the nice cold pack right there. It's also a hot pack. So all you have to do is just put it um, into the microwave, I believe. Yeah. So you put it into the microwave, pop it into the freezer, whatever relief you want. And just, it's so soothing down there. So. <laughs> Whoa! Guys! Oh my gosh, he does this thing where he like rolls his eyes all the way back and I'm like, excuse me, sir, why are you looking at me like that? 
and then he brings it down and it's so funny because like yes it's so cute that newborns are smiling but I don't think they know that they're smiling like I feel like they're just practicing their facial movements and they're just like they'll smile and then they'll like just go straight back to normal he is so funny oh my gosh I love when his eyes are like nice and wide and open it's so cute Oh, I know you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay. Well, that pretty much sums up this video, guys. Um, I hope that the most beneficial part for you guys was that peeing hack because life-changing for me. And then definitely get yourself one of these boxes made in both your bathrooms. It will be very, it's just very nice to have. You have all your stuff in one area. You have all your underwear, um, disposable underwear ready to go if you need to change into them. You could just throw them in your trash right there, put on a new pair, pop your nice pad on, put some of these in there, and everything is good to go. So... Being prepared definitely helps a lot. Having all this stuff ready to go is going to just take a nice little weight off your back because, of course, you want to care for yourself and be ready so you can give your best self to your newborn baby and bond with them as much as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. And I got definitely new videos coming soon. I moved into this new room it's our room mom and baby room and it is the first room in my life that I've cared to like decorate actually decorate and oh my gosh guys I'm loving it so much this is like a little sneak peek this is just the couch in here and the beautiful curtains I got from home goods the rest of it is an absolute vibe I'm not completely finished with it because I did order him a cute name sign that I want to hang up above his like changing table and stuff but guys I love this room for us and I, I think he loves it too it's such a comfortable and cozy vibe my whole family agrees they say they come in here and they feel really peaceful so that is definitely the goal um, and just for a little like sneak peek I'm going with like beiges whites browns green I got a green pillow here and plants too fake and real just to set up around the room and yeah we're just like really comfortable in here and I really wanted to like create a space that he feels comfortable in that I feel comfortable in so that we can just feel comfortable together so very excited to show you guys my mom and baby room um nursery slash mom room slash everything it's a nice good size for us and then what else do I want to talk to you guys about? Of course, my labor vlog. Everything is recorded. I want to show you guys all of that. Of course, not my actual vagina, but just my beautiful baby coming into the world and the beautiful moment that it was because I had my whole family there. They were hyping me up and it was just a, even the nurses was the nurse, like all the nurses that dealt with us. Because, you know, when you're giving labor and it's kind of long, um, you go through a bunch of nurses and all the nurses complimented like my family. They were like, you have a beautiful support system this is a beautiful way to bring in the baby and they were just it was a good experience like there was a point in time because my parents weren't there at the beginning and my siblings rushed me to the hospital my water broke and of course when your water breaks it's not like automatic labor for everybody for me it wasn't and there was a point in time where my brother was taking a nap in the couch in there and then the nurse came and like checked on me did everything and then she even took it upon herself to go cover my brother to get him comfortable so it was just very good vibes from all the nurses from my family and he was brought in with a lot of love and that's all I could ask for so I definitely want to share some of those moments with you guys but that is going to be let me just stop talking. That is going to be the end of this video. Um, if you guys have any requests about anything, life with the newborn, how breastfeeding is going, which I am definitely doing, and we are both loving so far. He's a very great latcher. Um, it just takes patience for sure. For, um, you know, like you see them getting frustrated, and you could, I could see how it could make a mom flustered. Like, oh, no, I can't do this anymore. It hurts. But a lot of patience goes a long way and they're hungry and they're learning you're learning and you guys will find your flow together so if you guys want videos on the breast on anything mommy related anything not go ahead and leave a comment down below and oh i think he's getting hungry now so perfect timing i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching all right bye